Good morning, wieners. Welcome back to Camp Claw. Oh my God, I thought you were gonna come on right behind me. She just ran out. She's gone. Mildred on the loose. Oh, she's right here. Hey, no, you're not coming with. Really? Really? Hand off. Ready, one, two, three, oop. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, wieners, what's cranking? Welcome back to Camp Claw. This is day number three up here. We're trying our best to film every single day, even if what we're filming is maybe not the most exciting thing. We wanna try to make every moment fun and enjoyable, at least for you guys to watch at home. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the videos, be sure to give it a like. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. And if there's some stuff that we're not doing that you wanna see, drop a comment down below. We're all ears for suggestions. We're up here to have a good time, but we're also up here to film for y'all. So what's important is the fact that you guys are enjoying the videos. So we've been going pretty hard trying to get the barn all situated and livable. So we figured we'd use today to just kind of have some fun. It'll just be Griffin and I, Griffin the summer in intern. Caleb's gonna stay back and edit a video so we can get that up tomorrow. We're actually gonna go into town and grab some gear for an idea that they came up with. Two days ago when they went fishing and I was working at the barn, they stumbled upon a juicy little creek that wasn't full of smallmouth, that wasn't full of brook trout. It was full of crawfish. Now, a lot of the crawfish in Maine are invasive and there really aren't any regulations on catching them. So we're going to go into town, grab some traps, see if we can get a ton of crawfish and bring them back here to have a bit of a crawfish boil. Along with that, we're gonna do some creek hopping, try to see if we can catch a nice big shallow water smallmouth. We did catch some pretty good ones yesterday, but we we're on the big lake on the boat. But you know, you guys know how much I love to just go on foot and catch them. How many crawfish do you think we need for an official crawfish boil? I'd say like for all three of us. Yeah, how big were they? Like this big? Um, Oh, we saw some that were like, like oh. baby lobster type beat. Like, oh, okay. So pretty, solid ones. pretty legit. I say like, just like a solid little snack, I'd say like probably 50, 60 of them. Do you think it's like, doable? Yeah. Is there that many? Because it's, I mean, they're just like little nuggets, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You heard it first, we need 60 crawfish <laughs> in order to have a meal. I think what we're going to do is we're going to boil them and then we might bring them in to fry them as well. But anyway, first things first is we got to get traps and we got to see if we can actually catch them. But stick with us, stay tuned. Another day in paradise. Let's have a freaking day. All right, we're at my favorite place here in Bangor. Walmart, gonna pick up some traps, some bait for the traps. I don't really know what crawfish eat. I'm guessing dead fish. I'm sure they get down with some glizzies too. We'll find out here in a little bit. I reckon the plan is we grab at least three traps so we can cover some water. Crawfish are slow moving critters, so we wanna be able to get in their zone, catch as many as we possibly can for this boil, and head on out. So, just have a couple things to grab here and uh, head on down to the creek to see if we can maybe get us some crawl ditties. All right, just look this up. It says traditionally crayfish traps in most countries are baited with fish. Swedes use sunfish shiny shiners and herring, but in Louisiana they use salmon heads. So just about anything that's oily and fishy. I know Walmart's got some fish. We just need like some whole frozen ones. We've got the trap. We've got three of these guys, super inexpensive traps. We're probably gonna have to make the hole a little bit bigger because, well, even though a little one would probably get through there, we don't want little ones, we want big ones. So I'm gonna get some pliers, make that entry point a little bit larger, get some bait, got some rope toss it out there with. All right, bait next and then we're out of here. We just had a, a tilapia blowout. We grabbed our bait, but um, it wasn't packaged very well. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> that smells horrendous. No way people actually eat that. That is bad. I bet the crawfish will love it though. Here we are, we're at the crawfish spot. It's a bit of a roadside ditch, but the boys were here yesterday doing some smallie and lamprey fishing and uh, they saw tons. We've got three traps, some dry aged Walmart tilapia, which is starting to leak. And we're gonna see if we can maybe get ourselves some crawdiddies for tonight's Northern crawfish boil. Fingers crossed. It's hard to believe that what we're in right now is just like a stone's throw away from the actual road, the busy highway, but this is where we're gonna be trapping some crawfish. I can actually see them down there. Some pretty good size ones too. I assume that they'd be small, like maybe about that big, but I'm looking at some right now that are about, you know, eatable size. So we're gonna drop one in here in this pool, maybe drop another in another pool and just, you know, hope for the best. We'll probably let these marinate for like two or three hours. And while we're letting them marinate, we're gonna go chase after some smallmouth in, uh, in a different section of the same creek. Ooh, nothing like a tank scrubber tilapia. <laughs> Hopefully they like stinky fish because this is a. Uh, <clears throat> this is exactly that. We also modified these traps so that the entry point's a little bit bigger. We just took some pliers, some cheap pliers that we got at Walmart, and spaced them out a bit. There we go. He's not going anywhere. It's like that's what every middle-aged dad says. That's not going anywhere after they ratchet strap down a refrigerator. Cool. All right, first one going in. We're also gonna set a GoPro in the water too, get a bit of a time lapse going, so that way maybe you guys can see how the crawfish do get stuck in these traps. Hey John, you realize we're catching dinner under an overpass, right? 
I know. <laughs> That's great. Like, literally. So basically all the fumes and exhaust coming off that bridge are just entering this water. That's why they're so big. Radioactive crawfish. Exactly. Here we are. We're fishing while we're fishing. We're letting our traps marinate right now. Hopefully we got a million crawdads in them. But while we wait, we're gonna drop down in a different section of the same river and catch us some brown bass. Yesterday we had a nice little PM session. We literally fished for like maybe an hour and a half, two hours, caught 25 fish. It was unreal. But this time we're gonna walk the creeks, do a little bit of foot mission and see if we can, you know, get a little dangle in there, a little creek dangle, crick dangle. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyway, wish us luck. You ready, Griff? For sure. Let's crush. Yep, yeah, here you go. Two spinning rods, a backpack, and a camera. This is all we're packing. I might start, what are you gonna start? I might, I might do top water. Really? Yeah, I'm feeling a little adventurous here. Let me throw the Nedley. Okay, start that's off. probably a safe bet. Starting with the Ned, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go blooper. See if maybe that gets some aggressive fish. It's still really cool here in Maine and we might actually get some clouds and some rain that'll come in. So that'll help for the top water bite, but I'm gonna bloop it up. I think I'm gonna start with a black blooper instead of a more of a natural, like sexy shad color only because it is getting windy right now a lot of times you've got these crazy warm days you have bugs that hatch and they hang on the leaves and the wind blows them off the leaves and in the water and the smallest just sit there and wait yesterday we got quite a few eats on top first cast going in there are a bunch of suckers in front of us just get a bomb out in this pool oh my god dude holy that was insane that was actually insane dude. Oh that my God, that sounded like a peacock bass. I was not ready for that whatsoever. Woo wee. All right, well, I think the blooper might be the move. Yeah, it gets a little skinny, but there might be one. Let's see what it's hiding the current. Oh, there we go, little guy, of course. Oh, he just came off. Oh my God, dude. How are these fish not getting hooked? I might have to throw that on, dude. That's nuts. A little popper? Yeah. Dude, that was like a toilet bowl flush. Oh my God. Dude, that's like three in a row. Big, dude, big, three. big bites. Well, I guess I wasn't recording for that last part, but first fish today, we got one. Plenty more to come. This is like legit the first spot that I stop at too. There's plenty more areas we can make cast to. And I'm pretty sure that was the smallest one out of the, out of the bites I got. Come on, good oh. fish. Oh, there we go. Nice little small off. He just, he just sucked it in. No, it's all good. Just a little runt. Oh, so cool. Got him right behind the current. Now I got him in the current. <laughs> Come here, bud. I didn't even see the eat. Holy hell, look at that. <laughs> no, it's not too bad at all. This little 12 incher. Just sucked it down. We're doing what you probably shouldn't be doing in a scenario like this, and that is walking down creek. But a lot of the deeper water is down creek from where we started. So we're gonna have to be really subtle, making sure we're not spooking these fish and kicking up too much dust. But there's a nice little, this little 12 incher, 11 incher, something like that. It's like you might get bit in that strong water. They love that stuff. Smelly jaw on the bloop, blooping it up. Peace, brother. Get back down there in the current. Oh, I don't know if it's a sucker or small right there, but something just flashed. Yeah, I think I went the wrong way. Oh my, oh my God. God, dude, that was so sick. Absolutely crumbled it. Oh yeah, I did. Oh my gosh. That is hectic, dude. They fight so hard. Oh, I always forget every time I come up here. Fish number three just annihilated it. These fish have so much energy. If you want like a good fight on a, on a light rod, just drop down in the creek somewhere in Northern Maine, throw a little blooper, throw a little net rig and just hang on tight. So ferocious. Some of the coolest fish out there. I know we always target them when we come up here and granted we will be chasing them, but not as much. But we had to get a little fixing. It's only day number three out here and had to get us some Northern smallmouth. So much fun. Not the biggest fish I've ever caught, but just so tight to get them on the surface. Yeah, I'll see you later, dude. Woo. Love the freaking see it, put it there. <laughs> Let's keep crushing. Oh, one just came up right there. Oh, we're on again. About the same size too. That's the one I saw cruising. He was just running up the current. <laughs> wow, dude, look at that. There he goes. Ooh. <laughs> you saw. Oh, wow, he's got patterns. Homie's got color. Gnarly, shout out to Griffin for getting that whole sequence. Just a weed dude, but packed full energy. 
Absolutely smallmouth. We just spotted a little chunky guy right here. I reckon he's guarding fry or maybe a bed. I don't know. I've never seen him actively bed in creeks and usually around this time it's too late for them to be doing that, but we've had a pretty cool spring. Let's see if I can whack him. Let's see what happens here. I'm going down in his zone. Oh, he's got it. Crushed it. <laughs> That's a good fish. I just let it sit there and he hammered it. <laughs> That's so sick, dude. That is so sick. Just sitting there in that deep pool waiting for rattling Ned. Oh yeah, that's a solid one. That's a much better fish. That is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous freaking moment. <laughs> that was so sick. <laughs> How disgusting. I just picked up the rattle and then I'm like, oh, there she is. Just dead weight. Oh, so much fun. Maine is full of fish like this. There's so many fishing opportunities where you can just drop in straight from the roadside and make a dib a dangle and crank them. Oh, oh, he's gone. No. <laughs> it's all good. We got some good shots. We're taking some IG content and uh, buddy just decided, you know what? I'm going to dip. Oh, let's go. Griffin's hooked up to a nice one. Oh, yeah. First one of the day for you? First one of the day for me. You were sitting right up in that slot card right there and I picked it up and just <laughs> humped it, dude. Hold him up. So 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 True beauty. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Crushing. Let's keep going. Especially if they're in the water until mm. you can't set. Oh, God. Whoa. What? What? He just hopped over that rock. No way. No way. That's too gross. That is so That is too scary. gross. Right at my feet, too. God. That's a little bit bigger. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Even if we don't get any crawfish today, the small monster is elite. Elite. Oh, they don't quit. They don't quit. They don't quit. He's about to soak the camera. They love doing that. Oh, nice little cradle shot. Blooper gone. This dude jumped over a rock that I was behind. I thought I was going to lose him, but he he cleared that rock over there. And then the fight was just basically up to me. Oh my lord, this is so great. I come to these creeks with kind of low expectations. Like I know what's in here, I know what can hold, but they change every year. It's one, I guess, downside to creek or river fishing is it may be completely different from the last time you fished, depending on how much rain we've had or if there's you know, dirty water in the system. But we have like perfect conditions right now. The water's up, it's clean, it's full of food. There's insects hatching and there's smallies chewing. Thank you, little guy. Catch you later. Oh my God. No, he's back. Seconds. Oh, that was so cool. Hey, oh. I'm gonna try not to get hit. We're back at the spot, roadside. Crawfish mission continues. We're gonna go check these traps, see what we got. I don't know, drop a comment, let us know if you think we got anything. Before we left, we saw like one that was actively making its way into the trap, so I'm feeling optimistic. But you know, these trapping videos never seem to do real hot for me, but I don't know, maybe that all changed today. Do you I, think we got anything? Yeah, I, I definitely think we do. Uh, I wanna get like 40 or 50, but wow. I have a hunch that's gonna be like 25. 25? 25. Yeah, that's pretty solid. We've got chicken nuggets in the fridge too, in case this doesn't work out. But <laughs> like I said, fingers crossed. Moment of truth. Here's our first trap. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's weird. Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh dude. <laughs> I'd say we got a couple crawfish. We Holy hammered them. hell, we got, a, dude, we got a bluegill too. No shot. Yeah, look, there's a bluegill in there. Like a pretty decent sized one. Dude, so just this <laughs> trap alone, we have a ton. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'd say there's like a cool 20 in there alone. Yeah. Wieners, we did it. Our first actual successful crawfish trapping. Look at it. Straight got, dueling. Got a two for one there. A little bycatch. That's sweet. So cool. Send him on his way. All right, well, that's just one trap. We have maybe 12, 15 in there. That's a lot of crawdiddies. <laughs> Not too shabby. Already. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Look at the size of that one. Holy oh my. Dude, that is a that's a lobster. That's not a crawfish. That is a main lobster. Holy hell. I mean, I think we're over 20. You oh. weren't you weren't far off. We definitely have over 20. <laughs> that thing is built. <laughs> yeah, not as many in here. Just a hand. Oh my god. Oh, oh he came out. No. We still have two. No, it's he was good. hanging on the bottom. Oh, we got three actually. Well, 
I think that was a mission accomplished. Let's go get some more ingredients and uh, head back to camp, have our first ever Northern crawfish boil. So a lot of you Louisiana, Texas folk are probably gonna be like, all right, John, you're doing this wrong. I'm sure I'm gonna mess something up, just full disclosure, but we are gonna purge them for a little bit, get all the poop out of them. We're then gonna get the roaring boil going, put our uh, accessories in there. We got some corn, got some sausage, red potatoes, all that good stuff. Prime ingredient, a little bit of that Cajun spice. Oh yeah. Load it up. Oh yeah. That smells like a Louisiana truck stop. Wish you guys could smell this. It is delicious. We got our corn, we got our lemons, some garlic cloves, taters, seasoning salt. It's time to put the crawfish in. We let them purge for a little bit. I think they're good. We don't let them purge for too long, otherwise they'll die. So um, yeah, cheers little buddies. Hopefully you don't make us uh, rains out in the morning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Minty. We're gonna get them about uh, three to four minutes in there. Stir it around, let them kind of soak in all that flavor, some of that Cajun flavor, that Whitney's Cajun. Cheers, waiters. Also too, if you're wondering where Griffin's at, he is uh, driving back in the pouring rain to go grab the GoPro that we left about, mm, I don't know, 30 minutes away from the cabin. So Griffin, you're watching this. Thank you, you're probably one of the best summer interns that I've ever hired. You're also the only summer intern that I've ever hired, but cheers on you, buddy. Oh yeah. They're red, they're ready. Let's munch. It's gonna be so freaking good, dude. Oh, there's the big mama. Oh yeah, look at that. Watch your hand. Oh, it actually smells really good. You smell the cross? Yeah. It doesn't smell half bad. Bone apple titties. Check her out. We've got crawfish, kielbasas, corn, some undercooked potatoes, some garlic chalets. Oh, this is gonna be a feast. Let's go back to the barn and uh, eat up. I know Millie is absolutely dying to get her mouth around some crawditties. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? If anyone was doing this for me, I'd be so con I'd be so content. I'd be like totally chill about it. But I am a little nervous. Okay, let's 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 start off easy. Let's try a sausage. Let's lead up to this. Kobasa. Can't go wrong with this. Give it a nice little blow. Delicious. Oh wow. Kabasa really absorbed all the flavors of that Cajun seasoning. Oh, it's amazing. Let's try one of these um, undercooked tomatoes. Oh yeah, no, I was gonna use another like hour. Yeah, it tastes like the earth. It's quite nice. Let's try corn. Saving the best for last. Yeah, I'm saving the best for last. <laughs> corn cooked perfectly, actually. All right, let's try one of these ditties. Some people like suck the heads out. I'm not. I'm not down with that. I'm, I'm more of a tail guy. Let's try it. Down the head. Looks like a little lobster. Oh, take the a, yeah. Take the take the vein out. Yeah. It tastes pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It's not bad. I just am concerned as to where we got it from today. It was a roadside ditch, to be fair. So, you know, we're doing this for you guys. If, if we get, uh, you know, explosive diarrhea coming out of our asshole, we're doing it for you at home. I think it's I think it's fully edible. I think it, it honestly tastes pretty good. Well, wieners, we've made ourselves an absolute feast. I'm sad that Griffin's not here to enjoy it with us. He should be coming back anytime, probably soaking wet, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this where we do some off the beat and track type catch and cooks or trapping videos, let us know, drop a comment. All y'all's feedback really matters to us and it is what essentially shapes these videos in whole. But we're gonna uh, dive into the rest of these craws, eat some saucies, some corn, and reminisce on a very successful day up here at Camp Claw. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. As always, folks, keep trapping, never stop. That thing is huge. You can probably get meat out of the damn claws. <laughs> <laughs>